Hey, I'm back. And today I want to finish off the rest of the videos in the Google Data Analytics certification. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Felix, and this will be the last video where I share my experiences with the Google certificate. But before I go any further, here are my credentials. Okay, I'm going to be going through a few key things of what I learned in these remaining courses, and I hope this will give you a general idea of what you could learn throughout the certificate yourself. Be sure to stick around to the end where I'll be sharing how I structured my time to finish this certificate within just one month. Okay, so the remaining courses I'm referring to are Process Data from Dirty to Clean, Analyze Data to Answer Questions, Share Data through the Art of Visualization, Data Analysis through R Programming, and Google Data Analytics Capstone Complete a Case Study. Completing the last five courses wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. We spent some time learning more about how we can use Excel to clean our data with simple functions like trim, left, right, concatenate, along with conditional formatting and other rules, we can clean and prepare our data for analysis. We also spent some time to learn more about SQL and get familiar with it. The most basic SQL structure is select from where. Select is what you want to pull from your data set. From is what database and where is a sort of filter system where you can specify a specific criteria. For example, where you want cities to equal Vancouver. This is a simple request in SQL to pull information from a database as a way to filter specific information for analysis. SQL is a really useful tool and it helps us save time from having to scroll for more information. In the visualization aspect of this course, we got to learn about the basic concepts of data visualization and we got to work with Tableau as well. Tableau is a visualization tool used in analytics as a way to put your data into visuals. It can also be used to create dashboards, which allow for a more dynamic presentation of your data. The last program I got to work with was RStudio. RStudio is like a programming language. You can type code to view, manipulate, and create visualizations of data. Now, I got to work with R a little bit back in school, and this course's introduction was about the same depth. We got to learn the basics of R through the package Tidyverse, where we'd use its different functions to manipulate and visualize datasets within the program. Now, I just wanted to take a quick second to say, if this video helps you in any way, feel free to drop it a like or subscribe to the channel, as it really helps. And be sure to stick around to the end where I share how I structured my time to finish this certificate within just one month. Anyways, let's keep going. So the final capstone course is optional. And the course implores you to utilize what you've learned in the certificate thus far for a personal, professional, or even school-related project relating to data. Now, at the time, I didn't have any personal or school-related projects relating to data, so I skipped it. But I later on was able to utilize what I learned from the certificate when I was serving users for an app prototype. But then again, this is an optional course, so feel free to do what suits you. Now, that's basically the whole certification plus the other videos that I made on it. And it took me just about one month to finish the whole program. But would I say that this certificate has equipped me with industry-ready skills as a data analyst? No. <laughs> Of course not. I've learned the basics and that's about it. But one thing I would say is the experience you get from the certificate will definitely help in the learning process on the job. And what you learned in this program will definitely kick in in the learning process of a new job. So that's where I think it will help. And for the last part, how I structured my time to finish this whole program within just one month. Each course usually has four to five weeks of content for you to go through before you can take the final assessment at the end of the course. And each week's content is broken down usually into five to six different parts, each with their respective readings, video lessons, quick labs, practice, and quizzes. The way that I structured my learning is that I would spend two to three or three and a half hours each day to get through the material. And be it weekday or weekend, I would try my best to find time where I can sit down and make progress on the program. Some courses took me a whole week to finish and some others just took me a few days. But I would say this, that what is most important is that you find the pace that works for yourself. It doesn't matter to get the certificate if you don't retain any of the information. And the best way to retain the information is through practice, right? So take your time, work at your own pace 
and retain as much information as you can while going through this program. That's my advice. Anyways, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you, and I hope you have a great day. See ya. Thank you.